The best of Elizabeth Taylor's famous jewelry was sold off last night, setting a world record for a single collection. And more items from Taylor's estate go on sale today. Bidders have to have pretty darn deep pockets for this one. And early show contributor Katrina Zish got a first-hand look. Great to see you, Katrina. Good morning. Well, the auction began last night, and with nearly three days left, it's already brought in a record $115 million. Nearly every sale has far surpassed its estimated price. Her historic 50-carat pearl alone sold for nearly $12 million. And one of the crown jewels of her estate, the Krupp diamond ring Richard Burton bought for her, sold for almost $9 million. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. This huh? is it. This is the baby. This is what Elizabeth uh, referred to as the baby. It's, well, it's, it's baby the iconic Elizabeth Taylor diamond. Carat. Okay, and this is how many carats? 33.19 carats. So pure, so experts color. have rated it potentially a. flawless. The purest of the pure. There's no nitrogen in this stone at all. It's like a drop of Fiji water. Worn by the actress almost daily for 40 years, the diamond was a gift from the man Taylor married twice, actor Richard Burton. The occasion? just because it was a Tuesday. Elizabeth referred to it as steps into eternity. The Elizabeth Taylor diamond. And this Tuesday. Sold for you, sir, $7,800,000. It fetched nearly three times its estimated sale price at New York's Christie's Auction House as part of the Elizabeth Taylor sale, an unparalleled collection of jewelry and fashion. This is one of the most historical pieces of jewelry to be offered on the market for so, so many years. It's Le Peregrina Pearl. A 50-carat rare gem. It was discovered over 400 years ago by a slave in the Bay of Panama. Mm that once belonged to the crown jewels of Spain and the Bonaparte family. It was purchased by Richard Burton in the 60s, and at that time he paid $37,000 for it. And today it's estimated two to three million dollars. Two to three million dollars, wow. Peregrina Pearl. But it actually sold for nearly five times that. Sold 10 million five, thank you very much. And Burton wasn't the only one who gifted Taylor. A bride eight times to seven different men, Taylor was showered with gems. Film producer Mike Todd, husband number three, gave her this tiara, along with other pieces, including this now famous set of rubies. Uh, they had been renting a, a chateau in the south of France, and Elizabeth, at the age of 21, had been swimming in the pool, doing laps, wearing the Mike Todd tiara, uh, <laughs> when Mike Todd arrived carrying red boxes, and we all know what red boxes mean, Cartier. There wasn't a mirror around, so Elizabeth used the reflection of the pool to see herself. Did men compete, do you think, when they gave her jewelry? Well, it looks like they did, didn't A little bit. It? Yeah, absolutely. A star before stylists were in vogue, the two-time Academy Award winner dressed herself. And at just five foot two inches, Taylor was a standout. She was so beautiful with that dead black hair, those amazing eyebrows, the violet and gray and green eyes, and the wonderful mouth. It was such a definite look. She couldn't have, no one else could be like that. For my money, the thing that makes me laugh the most, and she was a lady with a sense of humour, was the outfit she wore to arrive at London's Heathrow Airport, made out of white daisies, just after she'd become a grandmother at the age of 37. And she walked down the steps with knee-high white patent leather boots. Now that, my dear, is style. From caftans to diamonds, Taylor took impeccable care to preserve it all. She was a true collector. And she looked after her wardrobe the same way she looked after her jewels, very carefully. This is museum quality care. We haven't sent these to the dry cleaners. A rare collection for a rare beauty whom the public surely won't forget. Miss Taylor's a one-off in the kind of cliche of life. When they made her, they broke the mold. They really did. The sale of Taylor's entire collection over the four days was originally estimated to reach up to $50 million but it's already more than doubled that. With close to 1,000 items up for sale, there is no telling how much her highly sought after items will fetch. Part of those sales will go to the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, along with money going to Taylor's private trust.